Hello, naive people. I am currently a big fan of fighting knives. This is my modified cold steel GI Tanto knife. As you can see, <laughs> it has pine resin on it, but uh, as you can see, I hold it in a choking up holding, but it is basically a fighter knife. This red um, wrapping makes a nice contrast to this black knife. To me, it looks like a ninja, Japanese ninja, kind of secret samurai knife in conjunction with this Japanese hatchet sheet. I really like it, but uh, to fight a pair with this handle is slick, maybe. You know, push and draw, push and draw. Drawing can be difficult. Another fighter knife is this one Ontario. My modified, whole modified MK3. Marine Navy fighter knife. Cool. All fighting knives are cool. But unfortunately, many are too long for the Japanese knife low. So, I picked up a fighter knife from Toyokuni, Japan. This box is not yet opened. I will open this box with you. They say this knife is clip point hunter knife. I already have this one, drop point hunter. Mm, 120 millimeter long, mm, nearly 5 inch long. In choking up, nice deer dressing knife and uh, hand filling handle for bushcraft, higher shallow complex grind for deer dressing, deeper convex grind. In total, maybe this apex angle will be 30 degrees and a bit. Very good. I confirm in uh, bushcraft situation, condition, situation, I'm sorry. And uh, I expect it will work, serve me 
for muscle removal this side anyway I have this one as a bear fighter knife it will sound ridiculous to you but it's true bear fighter knife to fight with a bear with to fight a bear with Hmm. This checkering is from the first, not after order. As always, cool sheep. I like this sheep very much. Of course, a bit longer. 120 and this one, 150. Okay, let's take a look. Just a moment. Mm. Higher grind. Not expect wow blood groove here not so creep point I can say it is drop point drop point hunter mm. I like this metal hammer finish of course it is forged and uh, I can see the lamination on the spine. It is not warikomi construction, but laminated construction, like uh, falcon events. Absolutely laminated steel. Core is blue paper, which I love the best in Japanese steels. Pretty durable, easy to sharpen. This bevel geometry, hmm, this side flat. This side slightly convex. My grind. Interesting. Toyokuni seems like knowing my intention. Anyway, on this side, higher grind. This side, lower grind. What? Very, very sharp. Maybe Toyokuni is understanding my intention. Very good edge. Look at this. Higher grind on the right side. I'm much impressed with this finish. This uh, brass bolster and hilt is semi custom order. It took me Fifteen, one five, fifteen dollars. Hmm. Let's cut a paper. Just a moment. Out of the box, scary shop. As you can see, no secondary edge, zero right side convex, left side shallow convex or flat. Let's drop a bit.
Yes. Other zoom. This side angle is larger. This side angle is smaller. Very shallow, nearly flat. I feel like this edge angle is nearly 30. For this kind of sword hatchet, this edge is super, super excellent. Awesome. Oh, let's sheath. Just right. Pretty cool. This difference. Handle is the same length. Hmm. Anyway, hmm. I'd like to let you know how to order this knife. Toyokuni made me for me. This specific knife corner, you know, already checkered, already has uh, this brass bolster. Uh, nearly two hundred dollars without shipping. I agree. Toyokuni is watching my videos and what I have been doing. Therefore, they can make my intended bevel geometry from the factory. Toyokuni is Japanese. I'm Japanese. <laughs> you know. Mutual communication. You know. Telepathy. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I don't need to regrind this pebble at all. Hmm. I hope this will penetrate the bare skin to the depth to kill it. Pretty dependable knife. I love it. Out of the box. Okay. Thank you for, for watching. Mm, I will add the link to this very this same knife onto the description corner under the video. Please refer to it. I can say before uh, using it, just at a glance, just holding it. Mm. As a chopper, it can work. Just right ranks. Hmm. Let's compare the nimbleness. Hmm, a bit front heavy. Much thicker. Hmm, how thick? Hmm. Six mil, not seven mil. Six mil is the same as Bravo, no problem. Just right. This blue paper steel is decent. As I said repeatedly, like A2 can be better than A2. No chippy. Easy to sharpen. Holds very well. Japanese blue paper steel is a right steel for this knife. For any knives, slicer, chopper. You know, versatile steel. Japanese blue paper steel. Super blue, blue paper is too hard. White paper is too soft. Japanese blue paper steel is good steel. Anyway, I cannot stop this video.
please watch carefully, thoroughly. Really fabulous knife. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.